Namaste, beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and I am hopping on here right after a class uh, to give you a quick intro for YouTube. This is one of the classes that I uh, upload, one of the type of the classes that I upload on my website. About two, three mostly classes a week. Always two, but it's been three <laughs> for the last months. So, um, this is one of the classes we did a lot of subtle body. Uh, we did the subtle uh, body series, so the aura field, the little, all the layers of the aura. We did each layer um, as a program on the website. Um, then we did the um, uh, higher chakras and secondary chakras, and feet chakra. We're gonna do probably knee chakra, etc. Mm, and we're moving into classes that are. Uh, very summer focus. They're gonna have a theme about strengthening something within our emotional and psychic and mental body, but also they're gonna be fun and quick. So summer classes also are coming in on the website, and this is one of the summer classes with a summer theme, something that is very um, um, positively um, enhancing our our experience here or just it, it's just uh, emotional support psych psychological support spiritual support etc anyways so um, I invite you to join me for this class I wanted to share it here with the community and I'll see you with more classes on here come over to my website I'll see you there and today we are doing a class called egg of contentment I'm enough high intensity um, yoga. So that's a long title, but it tells you what we're gonna, the intention for the class, and then it's gonna be a high intensity yoga. We're gonna move through yoga poses, but with jumping, high intensity, <laughs> high impact. So um, a quick intro because the classes are gonna be quicker, the new classes. You're gonna get long classes always, but the new classes mostly are gonna be quicker for summer. That's what I'm envisioning now. Um, uh, physical and quicker uh, egg of contentment you are going to imagine yourself for the class and for the rest of the day in this egg of protection your own personal feel that you are the builder designer and um, uh, in, in symbiosis with this is your field but you also have an effect on it and it has an effect on you so it's a two-way street but it's also you so it's this multi-dimensional thing, multi-dimensional way to look at it. It is your field of contentment. You're content with it, you're enough. I'm enough because oftentimes we think, oh, our purpose is so much bigger. I'm not doing anything, I'm not enough. I'm, um, am I even on purpose? It, all of those things fall away when we just are. When we are who we are, where we are at, really content with the fact that we are just taking a big breath and we're feeling the present moment that we're embodying that divine um, consciousness that we are a fractal of and that we are. So feeling at peace with your life, feeling content within your field and also feeling in control in a positive way. In control, control can be used in different ways that word, but feeling um, in control of your field so there is a, a strong boundary that of course it's it's malleable but only via frequency so whenever you meet souls that you resonate at the same frequency with and be choosy be be really uh, intuitive and in the heart and and don't compromise that because the mind gets complicated and you can just compromise for things but do not compromise really stay in the heart and choose what you're allowing the frequency that you allow uh, uh, to see you. So people won't see you once you're out of their radar. Once you elevate at a certain frequency, you're not going to be visible to other people. They're just not going to register you. You're going to be in their field and they're not going to be interested in you. They're not going to register you. They're not going to even be aware of what you're doing. They're, they're, they will have no interest in you. You'll be invisible to them. So that's your egg of contentment. It goes beyond all other people. It, it is, it is um, your field of experience, what you experience here in reality and how beautiful it is to be your com completed version of yourself. You are completed, you're beautiful, you're experiencing eternal moment and you're experiencing uh, eternity and everything at the same time, all of time and all of existence and all of realities and all of dimensions and all of everything. Um, 
and to know that there isn't anything more and anything else that you need to be than what you are right now and I think from that contentment you actually begin to to do more but that's not the goal the goal is not to trick yourself to doing more but it's to fully fully be okay with yourself we're gonna die and it's not gonna matter none of the little things are gonna matter None of the productivity things or societal stuff or all of that is going to be out the window. But how fully we felt the divine and love and um, all of existence, that, that is what we're moving with. That's what we're taking and that's what we're putting out in the world. Well, that's what we're contributing. So feeling that contentment, I think once we feel it, we're in such alignment with our higher self that we actually our actions become in alignment with that and they're easy it doesn't have to be lofty ideas and you don't have to uh, you know be a president of something or whatever actually those people are most compromised as we know but from your small corner of the universe just with your consciousness and experience of reality you are shifting everything within and that shifts everything without um, that's all and here you're just going to imagine your egg of contentment. I don't know if this is an expression in other teachings. I don't know if I've heard it uh, or not before, but I really don't mean it in any other way than something that I think I came up with, but probably it exists, probably in a different context. context. So don't worry about other contexts. Egg of contentment is just that your auric field, really content within yourself, I'm enough. Everything that I am is enough. And from that place, you can actually really express, really unfold within your true self or the true, the true you. So change will happen still in action and um, doing stuff in the world will still happen, but it, it will happen from a place of ease and being not expecting that much of yourself. And also you stop looking at yourself as this... Um, as this separate entity, this body. I, I think a lot of my teachings, I obviously have astrology chart and every part of the chart is within my will. So I have an access and you do to every part of the chart. But as a 12th house person, it goes beyond the 11th house. 11th house is doing things for the humanitarian things, for the collective, for the group, for the, uh, for the community, etc. You don't look at yourself as much. You're less important, but the community is so important. Service to the community. Now, 12th is transcends even that. You become, um, you become completely uh, in a state of oneness, or you feel it so strongly, the state of oneness with everything. And... Um, with my Taurus and Capricorn in the chart, I still have a lot of practicality to take care of myself and to see myself as something that I have to take care of. But at the same time, I think of my body as some precious outfit that someone gave me, my aunt or something, right? The, the way it's a metaphor. But if someone gives you something super precious to take care of, but it's still not you. That is not you. It is a really precious thing to really take care of. Be very mindful of and just tend to it, give it what it needs and um, use it, of course. But at the same time, to have that understanding of your grander you and that, that experience of this outfit here is a fun experience, right? When someone gives you some um, amazing outfit, you, you enjoy it and it's such a blessing to have it. But at the same time, you don't over identify with that. And that expands you. It's you are enough within this self but also within this self, with the outfit. You just don't over identify with it. And once you don't over identify with it, you don't beat yourself down for having certain personality features. Oh, I'm this type of person. It doesn't matter. This is too much thinking about the self. Oh, I, you know, I was rude to this or to that or whatever. All those things become just the chatter of the mind and you just expand, transcend, expand out of it, transcend beyond it. And that way you're able to actually be more in alignment with yourself and you will never be perfect you always have hiccups but you just don't sit and um, chew over them constantly because the more you think about your um, imperfections the more you enhance them the more you strengthen them the more you put energy into them and less energy into that and less en energy into just letting them go so there is a power to to not overly think those things because in a way that is a better way to change them that's one way all right egg of contentment i'm enough 
And that way we actually contribute so much more to the world. Let's flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front, inhale the hands up, exhale forward fold. Inhale straight back, halfway up, and we're gonna go all the way up. And again, straight back, forward fold, bend the left knee and take the right arm up. And change. One more time, change. Change. And plank. Chaturanga. Up dog, Chaturanga. Down dog. Nice deep breath, focus on the breath, focus on the egg of contentment. You reside in this field, it is your field, you create it and also you source from it. It's a two-way street. It provides you with the experience here on Earth. With It gives you energy, the energy field, the energy body, the etheric body, the chakra system, the the entire experience here that is beyond just uh, the physical but also goes into the emotional personality and all of that. Spiritual. Plank. Chaturanga. Plank. Chaturanga. Plank. Chaturanga. Plank. Side plank. Ten knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, plank, step the right foot through, high lunge, and we're going to touch the floor in a deadlift to lunge. Two, really straight back, hinging at the hips. Three, you're going to have the most bum ass booty <laughs> in your physical suit <laughs> and in your spiritual body, probably. Six, seven, eight, really straight, really activate those glutes, nine, ten, plank, chaturanga plank, chaturanga plank, chaturanga plank, opposite side, left side knee tucks, ten, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. High lunge. Ten of those. This class is fast paced, so imagine your egg of contentment. And I'm enough throughout the class. You can even write it on a piece of paper. I'm enough. So that's your consciousness for the day. That's your intention. That's your Line, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, chaturanga to plank, one, two, three, left side, knee tucks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, step the right foot through, and we're going to come up arch, get a nice opening here, you can even clasp the hands, turn the palms of the hands forward, press the elbows back, and ooh, give yourself an adjustment, widen the back, drop the shoulder blades down, open the chest, this is just literally as if someone grabs you and adjusts you to just crank open your chest <laughs> and your posture. 
I need it since mommy hood. All right, one, jumping, I need tucks. Two, give it a hop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, exhale, plank to chat around that plank three times. One, two, three, opposite side. <clears throat> Knee tucks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. High lunge, give yourself an adjustment. So, uh, drive the energy of the elbows into the shoulders, into the shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades, widen that place. And lift up to the back, as if someone is pushing you right at the heart, between the shoulder blades, heart area. Someone is giving you a nice push up. That was a really good adjustment I used to like in adjustments. I feel that adjustments may be a kind of over for yoga, but this is a self adjustment. Let's go, one, two, three, hop up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back, plank. Chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, plank. Left side. Step the right foot down and we're going to bring the left knee to the right elbow, cross, uh, crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Plank step the right foot through. High lunge and open the chest. Really use this opportunity to take a big breath. Deadlift, jump. Deadlift, jump. Deadlift really straight, really activate the bum, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back, twist it. Plank, a few chaturanga planks. One, two, three, opposite side. Place the left foot down and we're gonna bring the right knee to the left elbow. Cross, crunch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fun. Step it through. Open the chest. The feel good. Just feel that upper back. Widening, opening, lifting. All right, deadlift. To knee tuck. Hop. Try to focus on the balance. You can, of course, use a little bit of help. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back. Twist.
plank. Three chaturangas. One, two, three. Jump your feet. In, um, I don't want to give it away, <laughs> but surface alignment. And I'm very low here. And we're gonna surfer jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank. Chaturangas. Three, one, two, three. Down dog. Take the right hand to the left ankle. Twist here. Opposite side. Take the right leg up. Open the knee, drop it behind. Waltzing. Lift, lift, lift. Plank, step the right foot through, high lunge. Drop or lower the left knee down. Three hops, one, two, three. Three deadlifts to lunge. One, two, three. Three knee hops. One, two, three. Three hops in place. One, two, three. Three deadlifts. One, two, three. Three knee hops. One, two, three. And give it a swirl here. Just a nice, very elongated movement, getting all the way into the psoas, really, but hip, flaps, hip flexors on the surface. Beautiful. Plank to three chaturangas. One, two, three. Down dog, take the left leg up. Drop it behind, wow thing. Really open, lift, elongate, high hips. Beautiful hips. I did a talk in one of the classes that will be uploaded around this one on beauty. Beauty is beyond what we consider beauty in our society. Beauty is an experience. It can be experienced as taste, as a moment, as an action. Tactile experience. Turn it around. Step it through. High lunge. One jump. Hop in place. Three. Deadlift. One. Two. Three, three hops. One, two, three, three hops. One, two, three, three deadlifts. One, two, straight back, hinging. I really use this a lot in my classes, this pose, this movement. One, knee hop. Two, three, three hops in place. Deadlifts. Three knee hops. And give it a swirl. Arms or hands holding. And really give it a swirl. Feel your hip flexor. Feel your obliques, everything. Just inviting new blood there. Circulation, energy prana. Beautiful. Plank, Chaturanga, Upward Dog. Plank, 
And here we're going to, um, this is a, a combination I did in some of the chakra classes, higher chakra classes, um, secondary chakra classes. So this is uh, the combination. Um, mountain climbers three, so bring your right foot forward. One, two, three, both feet jump in, knees hover but about a foot behind your hand, but adjust accordingly to your, what you want to do. And we're going to hover here and then change. Left knee forward, one, two, three, hover. Really squeeze it. Right, one, two, three, hover. Left one, two, three, hover. When you hover, everything contracts. Just your entire core from the bottom <laughs> to the heart is very concise it's very fired up let's keep going one two three hover change feet we we'll change the leading knee every time one two three hover one two hover one two three hover two three hover Hover, one, two, hover, two, three, hover, two, three, hover. Jump your feet in. Again, I don't want to give it up, but um, surface. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and ah, a well-deserved uh, yogic squat we're going through a lot here in a concise way down dog inhale the right leg up step it through <clears throat> warrior one And from Oreo one, we're going to reach forward with the right hand and shift into dancers. To three pose, little bit of balance, egg of contentment. We did all the layers of the subtle bodies of the aura, each and one in a separate class. We did higher chakras, um, Timas, Earth Star, Fifth Chakra, which is a uh, secondary chakra, Dancers, Triples. So imagine, you don't have to do much here other than the sentence, the phrase, I'm enough, and to just see your egg of contentment. One last. Lift in three pose. Wrap your left leg around the right, left arm on the right up, lift and sit. And you can bring your elbows to the right back to center and lift up lift the elbows um, that's a destroyer of darkness all right warrior three and i want you to really Drain everything out of the lymphatic system. I know your leg wants rest. Not yet. <laughs> my my four-year-old's favorite words. Two favorite words. Not yet. All right. So one, two, three. Hopping in place. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spice it up. So left and right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I think you deserve it. I could go more. <laughs>
I had my <laughs> my fuel step it back in the form of smoothie chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog and left side inhale the left step it through warrior one Dancers. Three pose. I'm enough. Dancers. Three pose. Pause. Egg of contentment and be aware of it throughout your day when you go to bed tonight. Wrap the right leg around, right arm under, left over, wrap, lift, soften. You can bring them over to the left. And back up. And hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now side to side. One, two, five, six, seven, ten. And Inhale, reach and arch. Exhale, hands over the heart. We're going to bring the right ankle over, uh, the left ankle, sorry, over the right knee and bend here, feel the stretch. Oh, juicy. And twist it, left elbow to left foot. Step it back into warrior one. And just fluidly move here for a breath because this is a very yang class. I love my extreme yang and extreme yin classes and everything in between and the combination of two. And this is a more yang class. There's a place for everything. More than masculine today. It's, by the way, I'm shooting literally a few hours after the solar eclipse in June of 2021. A very powerful sol solar eclipse, uh, right after the lunar eclipse. And chair, opposite side. This is our stretching here. And Elbow into the foot. And step it back in warrior one. And give it a, give it a movement. A form of a movement, a fluid movement. move the parts of your body that didn't move today maybe so maybe i've been doing a lot of upper body for the other classes but maybe you want to fire up your triceps and your shoulders and the front of the shoulder um, just feel maybe this part of your back middle back sides obliques maybe mula banda with the movement straighten take plie and let's go one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna hold the plie and move side to side waist streamers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now moving inside bends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And straighten the legs forward fold. You can shift side to side. One more time. And sit down. Forward fold. And a seated twist. This is a quick class, so I am going to leave you here. Feel completely free. You don't have to stretch every single day. If you do five, six classes a week, many short ones are fine, like 10 minutes is okay. Um, it's okay to have different movements in different days. Today's cardio, the stretching was integrated into the warriors and into the poses, and we did a few twists. Um, if you have time, you can go to the ending of one of my classes for a long pigeon and everything else, a, a floor segment. I have floor stretches only classes, so you can do that. But this is a complete class, is my point. And you can just go into your egg of contentment now and reside there with the overwhelming experience of the words. So we're not just focusing on, on just words, but there is an experience with them. When you embody something, when you embody an idea, a message, uh, um, a frequency, a consciousness, level of consciousness, there is a feeling to it in, on, in every layer. So we can taste it, we can smell it, we can see it, maybe with a third eye, we can feel it in the tissue, in the fascia, um, in uh, the senses, the higher senses, and so forth. So, just experience it. I'm, I'm enough. This completeness and being contained in your energy. Just a beautiful experience with nothing else needed here. It's just a completeness in this experience. And remember, to flow with strength and ease. Stay here for as long as you need to. Namaste.
Thank mm-hmm. you.